Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing a guide on Seelie from Honkai Star Rail in just a couple of minutes. Seelie is a stealthy quantum damage dealer. Her skills, her normal attack thwack, seals deal quantum damage equal to a certain percentage of her attack to a single enemy. Her skill, Sheath Blade, Seelie deals quantum damage equal to a certain percentage of her attack to a single enemy and gains 25% speed for 2 turns. Her ultimate butterfly flurry, Seelie enters the buff state and deals quantum damage equal to a certain percentage of her attack to a single enemy energy cost of 120. Her talent resurgence, upon defeating an enemy, Seelie enters the buff state and receives an extra action while in the buff state. Seelie increases her damage by a certain percentage for one turn. Enemies defeated in the extra action provided by reappearance will now trigger another reappearance. Her technique, Phantom Illusion. Seelie gains stealth for 20 seconds. While stealth is active, Seelie cannot be detected by enemies. When she attacks enemies to trigger combat, she will immediately enter the buff state. Her basic attack trace, Nightshade. When Seelie's HP is at 50% of max HP or lower, it reduces the chance of Seelie being attacked by enemies. Her skill trace, Whippling Waves. After using a basic attack, Seelie's next action will be advanced forward by 20%. Her ultimate trace, Lacerate. While in the buff state, Seelie's quantum resistance penetration increases by 20%. In terms of leveling her skills, you want to level up her talents first, then her skill, and her ultimate, and then her normal attack. Light Cones. Her best 5 star Light Cone is in the night because it increases her crit rate and for every 10 speed past 100, it increases her basic attack and skill damage as well as her crit damage. Her best 4 star light cone is only silence remains for giving her bonus attack as well as some crit rate depending on the amount of enemies. Relics Her main 4 piece set is the genius of brilliant stars. It gives her quantum damage and when she attacks quantum weakness enemies, she ignores 25% of their defense. Her main 2 piece set increases her crit rate and when it exceeds past 50%, it increases her ultimate and follow up damage. Main stats. For body piece, you want to go for crit. For feet, you want to go for speed to make her fast. For sphere, you want to go for quantum damage boost. And for leak rope, you want to go for either attack or energy regeneration. For substats, you want to go for crit, speed, attack percentage, and then break. Aldalon, if you're interested in wanting to go for her Aldalon, E2 is great because it makes a speed boost from her skill to have 2 stacks, E4 is good because she regens 15 energy when she defeats an enemy, and E6 is also good which makes enemies take more damage every time they are attacked. Seely is a great damage dealer, allowing herself to gain damage boost to deal more damage and take out enemies in a swift. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, then subscribe to the channel for more content, leave a like to support the video, check out my Twitch to catch my live streams, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.